builders make big promises to woo investors. One of these is assured return. It brings music to our ears when we hear about assured returns. But the reality is something different. Builders lure investors including home buyers by giving the lollipop of assured returns. Later, they turn their backs when time comes for the delivery of money and the property. Sudhir Bansal, who is 45 years of age, had invested 50 lakh rupees in a commercial project in 2015 in lure of getting a short return. He was promised a short return of 12% for 3 years till possession. But neither did he get the return nor the possession. He didn't know where to complain. Whose door to knock on? This is the problem of thousands of people like Bansal. How much power is there in the promise of assured returns? Let's see. What is a short return scheme? A short return is a popular term. It is most commonly used in commercial and residential real estate projects to attract customers. Developers offer a short returns of 12 to 18% to the customers till possession. Through such advertisements, people get tempted to invest their money mostly in under construction projects. Why a short return scheme is illegal? Supreme Court Senior Advocate Anil Karnwal explains that the government has enacted the banning of Unregulated Deposit Scheme BUDS Act 2019, which was notified in July 2019. The purpose of this law is to ban unregulated deposit schemes and declare those illegal. If a real estate company comes out with a scheme like a short return, then it is a violation of the law. Apart from this, there are some restrictions by the market regulator SEBI which makes the assured return scheme invalid. Despite this, developers bring such schemes under different names. The Real Estate Regulation Act RERA, should be amended to stop these schemes from being brought with the intention of cheating investors. So what's the important decision of Haryana RERA on assured return scheme? In February 2022, Haryana RERA gave an important decision in the case of Madhushri Khaitan vs Vatika Limited. Haryana RERA ordered builder Vatika Limited to pay the allottee as per the assured return rate fixed in the agreement. Along with this, instructions were also given to give possession of the prescribed unit in the commercial complex. Legal options for investors who fall for assured returns Karnwal points out that the developers either do not give the promised returns or they make default of payments. In such a situation, investors have the option of going to RERA, Consumer Court and Civil Court. However, if the main objective of the assured return taken by the buyer or investor is making capital gain, then he loses the right to go to the Consumer Court. Real estate developers change the pattern. Investors including home buyers should avoid making decisions looking at flashy advertisements by developers. They should not invest their hard-earned money in such schemes. Actually, builders give you an assurance that you will be given something in the future. So don't get caught up in such promises. Only the terminology has changed regarding the assured returns of real estate developers. But their purpose is the same. Now, developers do not use such terms which appear illegal. Apart from this, there has been a slight decline in such schemes after the COVID-19 pandemic as it has become difficult for builders to raise capital.